And Larry, I think we're going to ask you to say a few words, actually. So come on up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to be here representing all of my colleagues at GE Aerospace. We are today 125 years old, but we are inventing the future of flight. Today, we power three quarters of the world's commercial airlines and nearly two thirds of the U.S. military combat jets and helicopters. So what you see here with the F-110 powers 70% of the newest Air Force F-15s and the F-16s. I know you were in Michigan just yesterday. Yeah. This is the engine that will be under wing on the F-15 EX Eagle II that the Michigan Air National Guard will soon be flying. We're excited about what's happening at our company. We're investing a billion dollars this year as the President said, across 16 states, not only in our manufacturing footprint, but with so many of the small and mid-sized businesses that constitute our supply chain. There's a lot happening. We're excited about it. Mr. President, thank you for what you're doing, not only to revitalize U.S. manufacturing, but helping ensure that the U.S. aerospace industry, one of our biggest net exporters, continues to lead the world in innovation. Thank you.